the invincible anti-gravity spy plane by the U.S. Air Force. As a plane tries to land on the runway, it passes a number of military vehicles and an unidentified flying object with a triangle shape. This aircraft does not resemble any aircraft that the Air Force has ever deployed before, according to video that was recorded from the cockpit of a USAF fighter jet. Apparently, this triangular-shaped plane is the TR-3A Black Manta, allegedly a spy plane used by the U.S. Air Force. Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Future Warplanes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, and military planes from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's dive in! A flying wing-like design is allegedly seen on the TR-3A, a subsonic stealth espionage plane. It was allegedly utilized during the Gulf War to provide laser identification for F-117A Nighthawk bombers, allowing for laser-guided bomb targeting or smart bombs. Northrop Grumman is said to be the company that makes the TR-3A. Another theory has been put up because there isn't any concrete proof that any other stealth aircraft took part in the Gulf War. This maintains that whatever vehicle has been dubbed the TR-3 is nothing more than a B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber prototype. The TR-3's initial look does not fit with earlier assumptions that it was connected to the Tier 3 program. The coincidental phonetic correspondence hinted at this relationship. The RQ-3 Dark Star, an aircraft with a completely unique design, was produced by Tier 3 in the 1990s. Since all TR-1s and U-2s were redesignated U-2R in 1992, the claim that the TR-3 code represents a continuation of the TR-1 ER-2 series is similarly unsupported. Another potential model for the purported spy plane is one created by Teledyne Ryan and registered as U.S. Patent Number 4,019,699 on April 26, 1977. Robert W. Winterstorff and George R. Coda, who worked at Teledyne Ryan, a company that specialized in creating unmanned reconnaissance aircraft, created this so-called aircraft of minimal observability. The same year, on May 10, 1977, Teledyne Ryan filed for a patent with the letter DES for an aircraft design, 244,265, and is very similar to the preceding case. Waldo Virgil Opfer was the creator of this artwork. The first concept is unmanned, whereas the second is manned. Although it cannot be definitively shown that one of these concepts is connected to the aforementioned TR-3A, it is a coincidence that TR also stands for Teledyne Ryan. Northrop Grumman acquired Teledyne Ryan in 1999. The Teledyne Ryan designs also bear striking resemblance to the unexplained flying objects seen on camera in Belgium in 1989 and 1990, which the Belgian Air Force pursued and which hundreds of people witnessed. Created using non-human origin technologies, readily escaping the atmosphere of the planet and removing the effect of gravity. Even the fiercest of men can be rendered helpless to this object's sheer existence. The TR-3 Black Manta, a top-secret project of the U.S. Air Force, is what that object is. An alleged spy plane of the U.S. Air Force is the TR-3A Black Manta. Official denials of its existence and claims that it is a black program exist. Aviation aficionados find speculation regarding this project particularly intriguing. However, it's possible that it's the biggest prank ever pulled or technological advance in human history. It was first noticed above Belgium some two decades ago as an enigmatic triangular flying object and has subsequently been spotted in a number of other places. Most people think it has to do with UFOs, but there are reports that say it's because the U.S. military is using some kind of covert weaponry. Many of the sources are based on the accounts of some American specialists who were stationed at a covert military installation close to the city of Groom Lake. The level of aeronautical technology currently available in America is unimaginable. At Base Papus, there was a TR-3B aircraft that had extraterrestrial ships' exact appearance, additionally known as Astra, the TR-3B airplane. During the first decade of the 1990s, there was the first operational reconnaissance flight. The Aurora program, which was sponsored with money from the Black Budget, was responsible for developing the aircraft's nuclear platform in the strictest of secrecy. Investment in this project totals at least $3 billion. The TR-3B is the most unusual vehicle ever built, funded and managed by the NSA, NRO, and CIA. 
Aurora is now America's most classified aerospace program. The TR-3Bs features actually work as advertised. It was created using technology that was developed in the middle of the 1980s. Therefore, not all UFOs that people encounter is made by aliens. A polymer that may alter its reflectivity, radar absorption, and color makes up the substance covered by TR-3B. The TR-3 can appear as a little flying object or a cylinder on a radar screen when this polymer is used in conjunction with a number of electronic equipment. The crew compartment is surrounded by a circle of accelerating plasma inside the aircraft, which is superior to any technology now in use and is known as magnetic field decay, or MFD. This top-secret technology was created by Sandia and Livermore Laboratories, and the U.S. government will take all necessary precautions to safeguard it. Mercury is pressed to a pressure of 250,000 atm and cooled to minus 123 degrees Celsius in order to produce plasma. It can be accelerated to 50,000 rpm and turn into a superconducting plasma, which will let the plane fly by removing the pull of gravity. The effect of gravity on the airplane is reduced by 89% by means of this spinning magnetic field. In other words, a weight reduction of up to 89% is achieved for both the aircraft and the circular accelerator. Because of this, maneuvering this flying vehicle is really simple. The TR-3B can go at Mach 9 in both the vertical and horizontal directions thanks to an 89% weight reduction. According to sources, the only biological constraints on the pilot affect performance. Three multimodal propellers positioned at each corner at the base of the triangular base give the TR-3B its thrust. Hydrogen, fuel, or methane and oxygen are used to power the engines, which are located on each corner of the platform. Liquid hydrogen and more oxygen are used to generate additional power in the nuclear engine of the rocket. In order for the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen to burn simultaneously, the reactor warms the liquid hydrogen before injecting it. Nuclear reactors can be used to power the multimodal propulsion system in the atmosphere. There have been rumors that the mysterious TR-3A Black Manta was a B-2 bomber study project at times. In other words, the TR-3A served as the flying mock-up used to test the aerodynamic and control modifications made to the B-2 Spirit bomber. The fact that Northrop Corporation is the builder of both aircraft lends credibility to this statement. The U.S. Air Force, the CIA, and the National Security Agency purposefully left some room for interpretation regarding the designations of these aircraft. TR-3A and TR-3B variations of the original TR-3 were made after it was updated. There are models that were manned and unmanned. Many others, however, hold the opinion that this is a fictional weapon that cannot exist in reality and that it is all the product of an elaborate internet scam. And that's going to end today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.